Hello everybody and welcome back to more Swice Plays Magic the Gathering Arena. Today we're going to be picking up where we left off with the Rakdos Treasure deck. We're playing in Platinum. Uh, this deck is a little bit spiky as you saw in the last two games. So we could either really pop off or really kind of fall flat on our face. So we're going to see how the game goes. This is a terrible hand to keep. Also our opponent goes first which means it's better for us to mulligan anyway. Also a terrible hand. Much better. We'll drop the Unexpected Windfall, and actually I think the Blood Chief's Thirst. This will let us get into card draw faster. Okay, so it's Mono Green Aggro. Um, and I'm gonna drop the Shambling Gas first. It would be really nice to draw into a Kalein. Didn't quite get there. That's okay. We're gonna leave this and see where it goes. I'm happy to block a little bit of damage and then sacrifice. Okay, so we see red as well. So we're playing against some kind of gruel deck. Um. Okay, so this is not the worst thing in the world. I'm thinking it's gonna be better to go ahead and take a little bit of damage and get Zorn down to hopefully create a little bit more treasure generation. One red mana, so probably a frost fight. Yep. Okay, that's fine. You can get it out of the hand. Might see the Ranger class buff here. We'll take two. Not a big deal. And the Kazandu Mammoth drops. Okay, that sucks a little bit. But we're okay. We'll go ahead and drop another Zorn that we drew just in case again. Now the debate is, if Zorn lives, do we trade with the Kazandu Mammoth or the Tutu? Doesn't matter, Zorn doesn't live. That's okay, we're still getting cards out of his hand, which is always good. And it looks like we're gonna take a little bit of heat this turn anyway. Just three is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. So we'll go ahead and take that, no call, uh, no questions asked. And we see the Essica Chariot drop. Okay. I have no problem dropping the Gold Spam Dragon. And I'm actually gonna swing because I can block whatever his biggest guy is and minimize damage taken. And then sacrifice the Shambling Ghast anyway. Fine. All right, there's the frostbite. So we're gonna go ahead and sacrifice the shambling gas. That's a little bit tough because we're gonna take some extra damage this turn, but not the end of the world. Okay, a Kalein and a shambling gas are actually pretty good. Would have been nice to get some of our bigger guys, but that's okay. I think we're really hoping to draw into an Inferno of the Star Mounts here. I think that's probably the only way that we really will. Or at least hang around. Okay, that's not the worst. Let's see here. I think we're still dead. Might as well pay this with the treasure. Don't really have a reason not to right now. Losing one life, I don't think matters for us. I don't think it matters uh, either way. There are more creatures, but that's okay. Almost got the win. 
just not close enough. Got him down to four life, but no luck finishing him off. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope we'll see you in the next video of Swice Plays Magic Gathering Arena.